Oh, 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 I put my like, like, better be for us. No, like, if it's not for us, I'm going to put my own too. Oh, man. Alex. Alex, if it's not for us, I'm going to put my name here so I can penalize myself and for myself. Thank you. 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 What about that? You didn't see me run through the door. What about the ammo? Miss Denman? Miss Denman? Miss Denman? which is protagonist and antagonist. So just write character, and then under that, write trait, traits. And that's what we'll be talking about today. Put it right after setting. Yeah, if you want. Whatever works for you. OK, so a character trait is a trait that describes a character's personality. Yeah, but let's see. Wouldn't you write something? Mr. Because Dennis. are we writing the definition? <coughs> Words, right? Yeah, it's. It describes the character's personality. No, but you don't really use this the word that you're trying to define in a definition, do you? Well, I'm not using it. What it is, is it describes the character's personality. I just wrote trait, trait as in what we're talking about. But you can write describes a person, a character's personality. It's an internal thing. So we're going to be talking about what is not a trait first, and then we'll work on what is a trait, because there are a lot of dis, uh, misconceptions about what is, what is a trait. So first, what is not a trait is the character's physical parts of them, or physical traits. So who can name, tell me what a physical trait would be? <coughs> yeah? Like tall or 
like brown haired or strong blue eyed or something? Yeah, so it could be tall or small or brown haired. So I'm just going to write a couple for an example. Tall, small. Would you write not? I wrote not. So this is what character traits are not. What's not? Yes, just write not and then underneath you can write physical. Uh, physical traits. So tall, <coughs> small, brown hair would be a couple examples. <coughs> Another example of what is not a character trait would be emotion, uh, an emotion. Who can tell me what an emotion is? Yeah. What they're feeling. What they're feeling. What? Give me an example of an emotion. Yeah. Trust. Okay. That's. Okay. Yeah. Happy. happy. Yeah. So we got happy. I'll go with sad. Um. Or mad. Now, with this, this is what we're going to be working on today because, um. Emotions can be a little tricky because if someone is always happy, that can describe their personality. So if they're a very bubbly, happy person, then happy would be a character trait. But if they are happy because they had a really good day, and that wouldn't necessarily describe who they are as a person, then it would be considered an emotion. <coughs> yes? Also, you could uh, round that to cheerful. That could be... Or like happy all the time. Yeah, exactly. There's different um, vocabulary words that we'll use to describe um, and you, to describe a person's character traits versus um, emotional. So when you're done, I would like everyone to stand up, and we're going to do an activity really quick. Yes. So stand up and. Um, I need everyone to pay attention. On the, uh, next to Mr. Sit, that's going to be character traits. On <coughs> next to the sink is going to be emotional traits. Okay? Yeah. Or emotions. So, or physical. So I'm going to say a word, and you are going to move to either side. Alright, ready? Brave. This one is uh, character traits, and this one is motion, emotion. Emotion. You're on the wrong side. <laughs> you guys are right. It is a character trait. All right. What about sad? Oh. <laughs> Wait, is there an in the middle? This as an example. Because this oh, Yeah, technically. Would it be sad or would it be Trust guys. Uh, I saw so, like, sad. And I saw you that could be, yeah, that would probably be very depressed. Like, depressed would be there, but sad would be there. But sad doesn't have to be. There. Like, no is right. You could be a sad person. Okay. So let me just describe <coughs> this because I see yeah. like there's a little bit of <coughs> when you are sad about something. It, if your character is sad in this story, does it necessarily mean that they're sad all the time? No, uh, no. no. But they could be sad a lot. And what's another word for being sad all the time? Gloomy. Gloomy. Depressed. So if I said depressed, what side would it be? Walk. Tell me. Oh, I have to go back again. Oh, it's already forward. Back and forth. Okay, describe to me why is depressed a character? Everybody listen. Um. Raise your hand. Who wants to tell me what a character, why this is a character trait? Yeah. Long-term disability? It's not a short-term disability. So you can't be depressed if you... If you're sad for one day. If you're sad for one day. Exactly. Okay, perfect. If everyone can take their seats, we're going to do... Okay.
character map today. And we're going to talk about red kayaks. First, I want to use an example of Brady's dad. Did we give him? Uh, you're going to get one and do one yourself in a minute. But first you have to talk about, we're going to, um, we're going to do it, this one together. But first, <coughs> I want to ask you about Brady's dad. Why, when, think to yourselves, why did you think that Brady's dad was going to go to the police after Brady said, uh, told his dad everything? Now, think about it and use an example from the book, if you can think of an example from the book on why you think Brady's dad was going to be honest to the police and think that he is doing the right thing. Yeah? Um, he likes to not be guilty because, like, um, he... He also knows what's right. He tries to do the right thing all the time because, like, when about the crabs, how they were, they were um, getting the females, and they were gonna march about that and be oh, mad about it. He decided not to go because of that. Because he knew it was wrong, yeah. right? He yeah. knew that it wouldn't be good for, for the balance of them. Yes, yeah. perfect. <coughs> That's exactly what I was going for. All right, so we're gonna do one about Brady. Yeah. Together, we're going to do a character map about Brady. So what we're going to do is, just like how we used context clues to tell us, or text clues to tell us why um, Brady's dad had the certain characteristic of being honest and doing the right thing, we're going to do the same thing here on our character map. So we're going to find a char our character Brady. We're going to write in the little octagon, and then um, we're going to find four traits that describe Brady. And then for each trait, we're going to talk about uh, something that happened in the book, a text clue that would uh, help support why we think that he has that trait. So I'm going to start with, I think Brady is honest. Who can tell me why Brady is honest from the book? Can you give me an example? Yeah. Can you turn himself in? He, he turned himself in to the police. Um, but there's some ways he's not honest. Yeah, That's true. But do you think that he's overall um, yeah. honest? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, he's more honest. Yes. Yeah. So that's like, yeah, that's very honest of him. So Brady told his dad everything that happened to the red kayak. Okay, who can give me another, who can give me another trait Brady has? Yeah. Is that an emotion or is that a trait? Did he feel guilty? Would he feel guilty all the time even if that didn't happen? Is that who he is? <coughs> or is it a describing a situation that's happening? Describing a situation. Right. So can you give me a character trait? Yes. Yeah. He's trustworthy. He's trustworthy. <gasps> Why is he trustworthy? Yeah. Because like he was trust trustworthy because he didn't um like really like he didn't tell like I don't know. We'll go back to you. Yeah. He was trustworthy. <coughs> Okay, so it's more of being honest. 
Even though he would hurt his friends, right? Okay, what is another characteristic? Yeah. Yes. Maybe he did His dad turned him in. Because he turned himself in. What's another reason why he is brave?
Was he asked to do this? No. No. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So this is what you're actually going to be doing on your own. Who, raise your hand if you are reading a book right now, just in general, that has a character. Okay, with you, everyone that's reading, you're going to pick a character from your book, and you're going to write all of the character traits for your character and describe like we did here with uh, text clues. If you are not reading, you're going to be using Red Kayak, and you can use JT or Digger um, for your character map, for your characters. Once we are done, if you work quickly, we'll be able to play a really, really fun game and win some more candy. Okay? More Everyone will win. As long as you do it. All right. So the character maps are up front, and you can start working on them right now. I'm all in. Let's go. No, it's not this. Literally nothing. That's exactly why. Um, let me just gather. Because I dropped my Yeah. 
first of all, like, like the Hydra is really no, horrible. Right, right, right. Second of all, no. <laughs> I'm like characters everyone should know. Well, good. Well, well, only like first. Yeah. 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 Yeah.